Greetings, I'm Dr. James Patterson. I'm an English professor at a community college, a junior college in the United States state of California. I'm putting together this video series of tutorials on how to write a research paper to assist students who are preparing for the research demands of their junior and senior years at a university where they're working in their field of study. In preparing to do this series, I've come across a number of different terms that are used to describe or define a research paper. I'd like to go over those four with you. Number one, the most common phrase used to describe a research paper is an expanded essay. That is, you, the student, the writer, have prepared your essay, espousing your ideas, and you bring in research to support, to clarify, or to um, demonstrate your expanded essay, your points in the paper. The second most common phrase used to describe a research paper is the term investigative report. Particularly in the social and hard sciences, oftentimes you will be conducting actual experiments uh, in the field and then putting together a report for your professor on the findings of, and the data of your research. And so an investigative report is where you've done the investigation and now you're putting together a researched paper uh, that gives a report of your investigation. A third common phrase that's used in describing a research paper is the term formal presentation. Now that means, in very simple terms, that the research paper needs to be in a particular format as you're preparing it for your professors. Uh, in the academic world, there are probably four dominant style manuals out there. Uh, I'm an English professor in the humanities, and so I often utilize the Modern Language Association, or MLA style. In the social sciences, uh, the most common is the American Psychological Association, or APA style. Uh, many schools across the country and across the world use the Chicago Manual of Style, and then the fourth one is the Oxford University style manual uh, in the European states. There's another type of style out there that causes a lot of confusion for many students, um, and that's called the AP style. That's the Associated Press style. And much of the websites, many of the articles and magazines that students look at in doing their research is written in the Associated Press style, which is the journalism style and a lot of students have difficulty then converting that style over to the accepted and required format for their professors. So once you get to the university, I recommend that you get uh, a clear understanding of which style manual you'll be using in your junior and senior classes and get a manual for that particular style. The fourth thing that is often used to describe a research paper, although not as common as the first three types, is the term evidence. When you submit a research paper to your professor, you are publishing that paper to the professor. And it is evidence of learning. Uh, I have a book here, The Ten Steps of Writing a Research Paper by Markman, Markman, and Waddell. And in this particular book, Markman and Markman say that a research paper is, quote, a valid criterion for judging the disciplined work habits and the intellectual maturity of the student. So when you turn in your research paper to your professor, understand that it is evidence of your knowledge, evidence of your disciplined work habits, or lack thereof, and evidence of your intellectual maturity as a student, or lack thereof. And then the question is asked, why is a research paper important? And for that, I want to take a quote from Lori Rozaki's in her book, Writing Great Research Papers. In this book, Lori Rozaki says, a research paper shows your instructor that you can gather, evaluate, and synthesize information, in short, that you can think. Now let me paraphrase that and do it again. A research paper shows your instructor that you can gather, good information, that you can evaluate the information to make sure you're using good, credible information, that you can synthesize that information and incorporate it into your own thoughts, your own ideas in your paper. In short, a research paper demonstrates to your professor that you know how to think. 
In the following videos, I'll talk about other short topics as we go through this, but I wanted to take just a moment and explain what is a research paper. Thank you.